Jeffesians. Today, we are starting to have our four-week home-based learning. I'm excited for this because, you know, working from home and homeschooling is somehow very close to my heart. Most of you know, before I started HFSE, I have a company called NASE Global. And that company was formed because I want to be my, with my family here in Singapore. I lost a job and then I created a company. And that company aims to be working from home. It provides accounts and administration. Anyway, when I started NASE Global, my aim is that I work from home. That was 2013. And that is for me to support my husband as well on the financials. Come 2014, I was forced to decide homeschooling. So when 2015 came, I was homeschooling GAP together with my goddaughter, Keisha. During that time, I have a lot of things that I have learned from homeschooling my son and my goddaughter and working from home. I just wanted to share with you five positive things that I learned or I got while homeschooling and working from home at the same time. So here it goes. Number one, patience. Most of the parents that I have been talking to for the past five, almost five years, has been telling us, you know, I don't have patience of teaching my own son. And actually, we as parents are the first teachers of our kids. And realize that we have that patience of telling them how the basic life skills that they need before they come to school. In terms of patience, teaching your, your child has to just the same way as how we want them to excel in life. Although with regards to the academics, we understand in HFSE that you may not have the technical knowledge. But for this home-based learning period, I am very much proud and glad that Miss Teen and the rest of our educational rockstar has come up with the best method that can fit in and help each one of us, every parent, every family, to excel in this particular period. Number two, time management. Actually, it's not time management, it's priority management. When I was homeschooling and working at the same time, I have to know which is my priority. May, it may be different at this point of time because you have to have a probably a day job wherein you need to log in and be available in the morning up until the afternoon. But for my case, my priority management, I know, which is I have flexible because I am the, my own boss, in the morning, I'm homeschooling, and in the afternoon, I am working from home. So the parents thought, okay, how shall we do these things? How can we work these four weeks without having much flair, <laughs> anger, and madness coming around? My suggestion, if you have the flexibility, you set aside a room for your son, which is what we have suggested in HFSE by Misty. And then, you work somewhere else. So how, how you prioritize. Three, you got the best of both worlds. You know, I'm um, a woman. When I was single, I really wanted to be a mom. I really wanted to have kids. So when I was in a relationship then with my ex-boyfriend and now my husband, my first one and only daddy, I know that I wanted to stay with my children at home. Either I work, and, and that's something that I am very much firm about. I want to work from home. I want to be at home. When I was working, it's very difficult for me to balance things out. So when, because you have to work outside, now that I was work, when I was working from home and I was homeschooling myself, it gives me that clarity that I can work from home and I can homeschool my son. Number four, flexibility. Time management or priority management, the best of both worlds, and flexibility. These three are those things that I got and I am very much, that's why it's very close to my heart that working from home and homeschooling can be done and is possible because of these things. Time management, priority management, having the best of both worlds, being fully there, fully, fully there, physically and mentally, and 
um, having the flexibility of your own time, of your own schedule, gives you a lot of learnings because you know how to prioritize, who needs to be prioritized, or what task needs to be prioritized, and what task needs to be set aside later. So when I was working from home and I'm homeschooling, you have to balance things out. You have to cater how can I deliver my service to my clients and how I can deliver my love and care to my family at the same time. Number five, knowing yourself better. During that particular period when I was home working at, I actually worked at home since 2010. So I started with this particular website called Odesk and it's now Upwork. I was working from home because really being with my son then was my dream. I really want to stay with my child, Gab, who is now graduating in HFSE this year. So knowing yourself better, what makes working from home and homeschooling, how it helped me to know myself better is that I know and I was able to confirm what I want for myself, what I want for my family, what I want for my son. It's really having that quality time having that particular moment because I understand that these kids day in day out for my son is 12 years for the past 12 years they are growing up very fast for myself as well at this point in time I know I am also busy I was working from home and homeschooling at the same time I know and until now it's easier for me to decide because I know what I want, what I need, and what I really want to have for myself, for my family. Maybe it differs from one person to another, one parent to another, and one family to another. During this particular point, period in time, maybe it's also good for all of us to know to list down, to write in what has been our realization. For this particular sharing Taiwan, maybe there are a lot of things that you will be learning. We are living and we will we are experiencing a very, very historical event. It may be disheartening because it's something that's battling against humanity. But when we are focusing on the happy side, on the positive side of things, and as a Christian, and as a Catholic, you know, we all agree that it's within God's plan. Happening around, all of this happening is His plan. That we are bound to stay at home where our heart should supposed to, to be where it is. For this sharing, actually, I just wanted to welcome you to this home-based learning. It may be for the next four weeks, it may go beyond, or maybe coming from time to time. And during and every moment in our life, what I wanted to impart to you as I end this video is that all of us has something to learn every single day, every particular moment of what's happening in our life but at the end of the day good things bad things happen we just need to focus on what makes us happy that's uh, the hfse advocacy we want to succeed we want to be beautiful we want to be ourselves to fullness one happy family at a time happiness is something that we always want to achieve at the end of the day so welcome to this four-week home-based learning i hope everyone enjoys the quality time that you will have with your children with your spouse and with your extended family enjoy this moment let me know how it goes 
at the end of this period. Let's all pray that God stops this virus and we can go back to our normal life. Thank you for watching this video and all the best to all of us. God bless.